Hello, and today I'll show you how to calculate the point density attribute using the PC find function. So, here I have just a simple setup using a, or creating a sphere, uh, creating some inherent velocities from a vector and a normal, and then doing a cross product, and just add, then just adding some noises. So, uh, I'll create a wrangle here, and I'll create a float density, which will equal a uh, length function and a length function gives you the length of a array and then I want to place inside a PC find function which will return an array of point numbers so it will essentially return all the uh, point numbers of the surrounding points so first input position uh, again position and then we want to set a channel float which will be uh, radius so this will be the radius the PC find function will search around and then a channel integer, which will be the max point. Uh, yeah, and close the function here, like so. Uh, now I want to export this, so PC, or set a uh, attribute here, which will equal my variable here. And you can see that, uh, sorry, I need to first add some values, that we still don't see anything in our visualization, but we can see that we have some values here, and the only thing we need is to fit range this. So from zero to my max points, like so. Oh, uh, sorry. To zero and one. And now we can see some of the effect, or we can see that it works pretty well when you play with the values here. And the last thing we can try use to make this even, or to show you that you can also get the array of distances of each point. So I'll create a float uh, dist, which will be a empty array. I'll copy this and I'll place this behind or as a last uh, component of that function. And then I want to export this. So set point or not export this, but set this as a array attribute, point attribute and uh, first input. <coughs> Then the uh, name of that attribute, uh, point number, then the uh, values, and then a operation which will be set to set. By the way, you can set here uh, many different operations like add, multiply, divide, and so on. And now you can see that we get an array of distances. Yeah, I hope you find this helpful, and I'll see you again. Bye.